1969, I was going to school full-time at Berkeley, working full-time. They were rioting in the streets because of Vietnam War. And a friend said, you should learn Transcendental Meditation. Somehow at that moment, it just sort of clicked. I thought, I should learn Transcendental Meditation. I didn't know what it was. I didn't want a religion. I, didn't, I wasn't looking for any of that. I was looking for just some way to be connected within myself and handle school and handle work. I started teaching this in 1972. I've been teaching it ever since. And 10 years ago, the great filmmaker David Lynch and I got together and we started a foundation where the idea was to bring this to at-risk populations who would never have access to it, but who maybe need it the most. Transcendental meditation is a simple, natural, effortless technique that's done for 20 minutes twice a day, sitting comfortably in a chair just like this. The eyes closed, it's silent. And it just allows you get a mantra, a sound that has no meaning, and you're taught how to use it in an effortless way that just allows your agitated thinking mind to sink and to settle into silence. And when that happens, your body gets deep rest. When your body gets deep rest, it throws off a buildup of stress and tension and anxiety, and you have more energy and more clarity of mind and more creativity in daily life. In the last 10 years, the David Lynch Foundation has provided scholarships, helped to train over a half a million kids who attend underserved schools in, throughout the United States, all over Latin America, very proud of, we're in 35 countries in Africa. We're working with veterans and their families who suffer from post-traumatic stress. These are some men and women who come back from combat, and so they learn to meditate, and within a day or two, the body gets such relaxation, they're sleeping through the night for first time in months. And we're also working now with women and children who are victims of domestic violence, DV. The, the interest among celebrity is completely on its own. It just became sort of like word of mouth. And what's interesting is the people who are learning in the celebrity are generally some of the most creative, innovative, forward-thinking artists. They're the people who aren't, don't play it safe. When you look at the people who've stayed at the top, Jerry Seinfeld, been meditating for over 40 years, never burned out. Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr, over 40, 50 years, never burned out. So not only does it help a creative person get to the top, but also ensures that they stay there. And that staying there means they handle the stresses and the pressures and the tensions of daily life and they don't get thrown by it, but also, perhaps even more importantly, they have access to creative reservoirs within them so they're constantly innovating and re-innovating and staying fresh and exciting for a whole cross-section of generations. It's his honesty, it's his integrity, it's his the respect that he has in the artistic community from the beginning that has fueled the David Lynch Foundation because people say if David, if David says this is going to create bliss, if David says this is a good thing, everybody trusts David Lynch. So he's a great, great human being and I love him like a brother. So our whole focus here at the David Lynch Foundation is to do everything we can to make this as widely available as possible. And in so doing, I think create a much healthier, peaceful world. Mm -hmm.